in this lesson of the tutorial, I'm going to show you how to basically bake out textures from Maya so that you can have a really good start whenever it comes to uh, texturing um, any one of your models, whether it be a uh, character model, product model, vehicle model, um, inanimate object model, or even static meshes. And so for me, since I'm not a, a Photoshop genius, it's easier for me to basically get a, a very good base texture inside of Maya and then I can just cook it out and um, start texturing through Photoshop that way. Uh, it, it's a little bit hard for me to to basically do all of the character texturing inside of Photoshop, especially with tools like uh, with Maya and the ability to um, let's just say wrap textures around them. It, it's real easy to go ahead and you know basically get a good a good base out of which you can then basically just add your overlays. And I'm going to show you how to to go ahead and do that now. So as you can see, we have our pants mesh here, um, which is fairly low in terms of geometric structure. And I'm simply just going to go ahead and uh, grab a texture here, which is you know from Google. I'll go ahead and open our hyper shade here, and this just takes a little bit of time. Go ahead and bring this over, and as you can see, I'm using Maya 2011, and pretty much you can do this in all um, all Maya versions. Uh, the earliest one being from what I used was 2008 and I'm just going to keep the focus here on the bottom by simply clicking this show bottom tabs only button go ahead and move this over here and I'll just middle uh, middle click and drag onto the model and make sure that it's getting applied and hitting 6 on the keyboard and I'll go ahead and bring in our denim texture here And it's real important. I'm going to go ahead and set our project to uh, any one of these will be fine. But I'm just going to go ahead and use a previous projects folder here. So I'll go ahead and drag the uh, the denim texture onto our Lambert there. And as you can see, it, it's going to show up inside of Maya's viewport here. And this is um, right off the bat. This is just going to be too low in terms of uh, repeating pattern. Um, that sort of doesn't look like jeans. It sort of looks more like a uh, uh, like a corduroy texture. And so, basically, all I'm going to do is just <coughs> turn off the filter type here, because if I um, bake that out with the filter type on, it's basically going to blur the texture. So I want to make sure that I turn that off, and then we'll go over to the Place 2D Texture node, and I want to turn on the mirror. U in the mirror V. This way it, it mirrors it in directions so it's going to be a tileable texture. And I'll just go up and say maybe 8 is probably, yeah that's probably going to be too high. So we'll go down here to do 2 and 2. Uh, it's probably too low so let's go to 3 and 3. And that looks pretty good. And you want to try to stay somewhat low. Um, you definitely don't want to use a, an extremely high number, say something like 20 or 25, because it'll basically blur the image um, whenever it bakes out and you're not going to get the detail that you want um, or the detail that actually you see here inside of the, the My Viewport window. So you want to try to keep this number low. I say I would say anything over, say, maybe 10 is too high um, especially even if you have a an extremely high resolution image like I do here I think which is like 3500 by something um, you want to keep the image low but it's also important that you use um, TIFF images this way that you can take the uh, the compression out of the the photo inside of Photoshop so that whenever it does bake out it's also not going to blur so now that we have our, our shader applied to our model, I'm going to move this back over so I can select not only the pants here and the, the shading node. So we'll just you know select our pants and shift select our denim texture here. 
and we're just basically going to convert file to texture but before we do this we want to make sure that in our render settings we turn on it, it is my software that we turn on production quality this way whenever it does bake out it's going to give you a very good image that's that's baked out it's not going to give you a, a a low quality image or a blurred image so let's go ahead and select our pants shift select our denim we're not shift selecting the shader we're actually shift selecting the the tiff the tiff image here or the uh the image file that's actually plugged into our shading node and then we'll come up to edit convert file to texture and these are pretty much all the default settings except for the size on the x and y resolution and we'll hit convert and close and I'm basically just going to go into where the project um, folder is located here and into the source images folder as you can see I have a bunch of HDRIs in here and this is just going to take a little bit of time to go ahead and bake out and as you can see it's it's baked out there now just finding where it is here right there and you can see that it bakes out a a very very good image in terms of um, detail and this would actually be easier to basically texture with because your pants are already textured and they're gonna run it's gonna render out and in some cases inside of Photoshop it's gonna sort of be hard to let's say place those textures properly so that you get the layout that you want especially for me um, I do find it a lot easier to basically bake out bases inside of Maya because it's just it just makes it easier for myself to go ahead and texture characters or whatever it is that I'm actually texturing so if you use Maya to bake out your textures it's just gonna make your you know the overall end result easier for you to to go ahead and texture your characters